Google accounts. And I want to take files from this account and put them over here in this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the new button in Google Drive to create a folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share files with myself. So I'm going to create a folder in account A over here on the left. And then I am going to use the share icon up in the toolbar or you can right click and choose share. In there I'm going to put in their email address of who I'm going to share this folder with. And now I have shared it where you can see that the icon on the folder now has a little man on it to let me know that the folder is shared. Now over on the other account, account B, this is a filter shared with me. I'm going to go to the shared with me filter and I can see that I have this folder over here in account B. So they're both the same folder. I'm going to open it in account A here on the left. And what I want to do is I want to move files into that folder share with myself. So I'm going to go to recent. I'm going to right click. I don't want to add a shortcut. I want to move it to. So I'm going to move it to. And I'm going to move it to share with myself. Now you see I had to scroll for that. So one of my tricks is I'm going to go back to my drive and instead of naming it share with myself, I'm going to put a zero in front of it so that way it alphabetizes to the top. So I'm going to come back to my recent files and here's another file that I want to share with myself. So I'm going to use the sh share, excuse me, I'm going to move it, move it, right click, move to and I go to my drive and you see now I have a folder zero share with myself so I don't have to scroll. So I'm going to move that in there and I'm going to move it. And over here on account B on the right hand side, you can see that I have these files showing up. So I'm going to right click, move it to my drive, the share with myself, move it, okay. And then you can actually select more than one file at a time. I held down the shift key, so I click one file, I scroll down a little bit, and I hold down the shift key, and when I click, it's going to select all of those files. Or if I use the control key, I can select some files, but not necessarily the whole chunk. I'm going to right click, I'm going to move to, oh, why won't it let me move to? Ah, some of these I am not the owner of. So make sure that you are the owner of these files so that you can move them. There we go. Move to my drive, share with myself. I'm going to move here and move. So then you can see that these are going to show up all over here. Now the problem is over in account B, what you'll notice is on each of these files is that the owner is, let's stretch this out, the owner is the other account. And what I need to do in order to move them over here is I actually need to make a copy. So I'm going to single click on the file and go up to the three dots menu and choose make a copy. And you can see I now have copy of and it says that the owner is me instead of the other account. So that is my goal is an account B that I get all of these to say me as the owner instead of my other account is the owner. Now I can't transfer ownership from a school account to a personal account so what I have to do is just make copies. So these will still say that the other account is the owner but I'm going to make copies. And you can actually do this more than one at a time. So I use that trick where I held down the shift key. I click on the first file, shift key, click on the last file, and I go up to this three dots menu and I make a copy. So that is one of the options is you can do this manually. The other option is you can use alicekeeler.com slash copy folder. So if you go to alicekeeler.com slash copy folder, I'm going to make a copy. This is an unofficial add-on, and so you will need to authorize it each time that you use it. 
So I'm going to wait for the add-on to load. Once the add-on loads, I'm going to go to add-ons, copy my folder. I'll go to the sidebar. This is where I'm going to have to authorize it. And then it'll give me the option to copy folder in the sidebar. So again, that was under the add-ons menu. It can take up to a minute for this to load. And so when I go to the sidebar, it's going to allow me to copy folder where I'm going to select a folder. And here is that folder that I want to copy, this share with me folder, which I wisely started with a zero. So it's the first one on there. And also I have recently edited it. So I'm going to click select. And that's really all I have to do is pick the folder. And what it's going to do is copy all of the files in the folder. So let's go ahead and close that. And you'll see that I have these tabs in the spreadsheet. And on this tab, it has got, this is my folder. This is the folder ID. And it is now getting the file and it is copying these files. And it's gonna be copying it into a separate folder. So let's take a look what's going on over here. You see that I have folder in the folder that says these are the copies of the files that were in that folder. And this one is the originals. So it is moving the files out of the folder into two separate folders so I know which ones are the copies and which ones are the originals. And you can see that it's just doing this a little bit at a time. Be aware that on personal accounts, you can only run code for five minutes. So if you have a lot of files, subdivide them into separate folders so that you can do it within five minutes of copying the files. And you'll see I've got this list. Why are these not copied? Because there is some sort of error. I'm not the owner of those. I don't have the ability to copy them. Um, but so it's letting me know if they were able to be copied. I have the link to those files. That's the copy of. And I can see them over here in the Google Drive. These are the copies. And on all of these, I am the owner. And so that is how I can copy some files quickly is using my unofficial add-on of copy my folder.